Hi, I'm Tara Grill. I work at Belfry School. Um, we're in the southern, very most southern part of Montana. Um, we have about 68 students enrolled this year, so we're a super small school, but we're an awesome school. I'm supposed to show you guys what we did COVID, um, before COVID and COVID rules, so we're going to start with the dining room. And this is our dining room, and for COVID, we before COVID, we'd have it full of all the tables and the kids would come in all at the same time and just get in the line however and wait for their food and then go sit however they wanted. And then the elementary would leave and the high school would come in junior high school. Um, preschool was included and everybody would be in here. Of course, COVID changed everything for all of us and everybody loves COVID. So we installed the hand sanitizers on the outside of our dining room and the inside. So they have to hands in, wash their hands before they come and then hand sanitize and then come in. They come in by the classrooms. Each class stays in its own pod and they're in here in line by themselves and the other classes wait. Then when they come in, the tables will be down and there'll be a table for each classroom and they have to stay in their own classrooms and their own pods. They come in when they line up, they can start lining up six feet apart on the duct tape. Before I went back to the service line, we had a table set out here, and I would hand the food six feet out to one of my other assistants, and they'd be up here, and then they'd go to their pod. But since we got the mask mandate released and our county lets us, we've pretty much gone back to pre-COVID rules with still doing social distancing. So they stand with the lines on the floor, they come through, they get their food and then they come over here and get their condiments and their milk and then they go find their table and sit and then the next class will come in. This is my little trolley that I use to take food to the preschool now because the preschool is not allowed to come in with us for the year. So that we do. Then we come into the kitchen and it's my tiny kitchen. We do a lot of magic in this little space. The dish pit is over that way. And then we got our work sink here and our steam kettle, which I didn't have a clue how to use this thing. So I Googled it so I'd know I wasn't going to blow up the school before I used it. This was only my second year as a food service director and head cook. And when I came in, I knew how to be a chef, but I had never used anything like that before. I think it was the 1950s model, but still works great. And we got our grill. We got our really old, ancient steam table. And this one doesn't work. But thanks to um, No Kids Hungry Montana, I applied for a grant and we received a grant this year for $8,800. And I'm updating the steam table. We're getting rid of this and getting a new one and a new salad bar cam chillers. We're getting a new milk machine and also a juice machine. So we're really, really excited. And that all should be coming pretty quick. Thank you, no kids hungry. And then back here is our work area, our main work area. When we have a lot of sandwiches or prep stuff we have to do, we pull it out and we circle. And we do it really fast. This is our fruits and vegetables cleaning area and our labeling and fruits and vegetables station. I have my six burner stove that's pretty old, <laughs> but they all still work so I can't replace it. And then we have our double uh, convection oven and our warmer cruiser. We have the little mixer and my stand mixer and the rest is back there. It's a pretty small kitchen. Um, during COVID we did the six feet, one working over there, one working over here. and. Um, then we brought in an extra person to help with all the packaging, plating, and getting that out. We don't have a packaging system, so we made our own system, and it's cluttered and messy, but under here are all our to-go containers, all our plastics, but we've gone away from that now because the mandate has been lifted and we can breathe a little easier, so we ordered new trays this year from our old little round plates from the 50s. We got trays. Um, over on this is our hand washing area, our hair nets, our apron area, and my 
my teeny tiny closet office where I don't work in very often. I go out to take it. Here is our jumbo fridge. That's it. That's all we get. So right now we're running low because I'm trying to run everything out before the end of the year. Here is our giant freezer. Yeah, it gets tight. Our dry storage is back here. I try to keep it somewhat organized so I can keep my inventory. It's not a lot of room to work with, but we make it work. Back here, where it's noisy, behind that door, there's another shelf of all our to-go items. We have our sandwich thing, containers, our bowls, our styrofoams, and that's what we did during COVID. We packaged it all and sent it home with them. They had to come pick it up. We had to do the waivers and the whole drama of it. Right now, since this school year started, we have been lucky enough to be in school and we haven't been shut down. <laughs> COVID hasn't hit us here. So we've been pretty lucky that way. We've had kids go out, but we've never had to shut the school down. So this year we started a farm to school program. I've been working on it since last year and I went to the farm to school webinar that Ginger hosted a couple months ago and I made great contacts there. Um, the Millers from Miller Ranch over in Absorki is who we procure our beef from now. And we use um, native fish keepers to, and quality food, food distributors to get all our fish fresh from Flathead Lake. And we also started our greenhouse last year. We had tomatoes growing through the whole building. But this year we tore it all out and started over. And we're getting the electric redone because I got another grow and we are getting the electric redone and we are expanding. But the thing I'm most excited for, sorry, some noisy back there. That's where the ice machine is too. The thing I'm most excited about is um, I was looking for a honeybee grant so we could start honeybees so we could make our own honey and sell our own honey. We started a cooking club and my cooking club is now going to produce salsas, honeys, and jams and whatever else they want to make. So we can sell it and we got hives donated to us and we have the bee nukes donated to us. We're learning about all this stuff, but we have our start. We're gonna put them on top of the high school so the kids can stay safe away from the bees because the bees fly the path to their food and hopefully it keeps them safe. So we will be producing our own honey hopefully next fall, not this fall, but the next fall. We'll have four boxes, I think, and be producing a lot of honey from the Belfry Bubble Bats Cooking Club. And then, if you'll follow me outside, I can show you our greenhouse and what we're doing there. All right, so here we are at our greenhouse with our lock. And it's a mess in here right now because we're just starting to redo everything. So, bear with us. The exciting part is there's more honeybee stuff out here. We got our worm beds donated and ready to roll in the fall. We're gonna start um, composting and doing our own worm beds to get our worm teeth. I'm not a fan of worms, but the kids are excited. More bee stuff, careful, I'll watch my stuff. And then this was all full of all our tomatoes. They took over everything. You can see we've taken out all the old tomatoes and we've started our new vegetables and I can't even tell you what all we got going right now. We have onions and peppers and tomatoes are down here in the buckets. Got those all started while they're going to rewire everything. And we get new counters and everything in the organized. So this is a mess. But this is where we're starting from scratch again. We still have some of our stuff back here from last year that we kept. We have a bunch of our peppers and our okra. I don't know. What that one is back there. I think it's another okra plant. But anyway, this is where we're gonna get all our fruits and vegetables. Not all of them, but a lot of our fruits and vegetables for our school. And we're gonna produce our salsas and maneras and whatever else the kids wanna come up with. They're gonna be making their own recipes and selling their own stuff. So they will be little entrepreneurs before they leave school. 
the next thing we're going to do is um, our meat smoking project. We um, planned with the shop class, planned a smoker for us because I wanted a smoker. So a big barbecue pit smoker thing. It's a monster. So the shop class is building up for us and I will show you how that's going right now. So welcome to the welding shop. Pretty nice in here. But here is our monster. On this end, we're gonna have a tray that slides in and out for the charcoal or the wood, whatever we're smoking with. And then up here is our hitch. And if we can get around to this side is easier. This whole unit in here is gonna be where I get to smoke a pig for the first time on the 11th, I think, of May. We're gonna have the racks back there laying in here. So we're really excited, super excited to start that project. We're gonna um, actually do fundraisers for Cole's Pantry by selling plates of food uptown on Thursdays. So Thursday nights we're gonna have music and food and uh, do community events to get Cole's Pantry rolling. And I think that's about all I have. It was nice talking to y'all and have a great day.